Healthcare workers across California will have to be fully vaccinated by the end of September. State public health officials issued the new order today after seeing an increase in COVID cases and hospitalizations due to the Delta variant. The new order includes all settings such as hospitals and skilled nursing facilities. Crown Force Gail Ong joins us now live from Walnut Creek with reaction to this news. Gail. Yeah, Ken, you'll hear from advocates in a bit. Uh, just to give you an example, the pandemic isn't over. This nursing home here in Walnut Creek is under quarantine after some COVID cases popped up. So the state order also requires visitors at nursing homes to require proof of vaccination, and advocates are welcoming that. We think that it's the state's way of saying to nursing home residents and to people who care about nursing home residents that we're not going to let what happened last year happen again. You may recall nursing homes as a COVID hotspot early in the pandemic, the novel virus quickly spreading among staff and vulnerable residents. Thursday, state public health officials issued a new order requiring all health care workers and nursing home visitors to be fully vaccinated. Tony Chikato with California Advocates for Nursing Home Reform says his organization will be informing residents and family members what to expect related to visitation. We are hopeful that this will not in any way decrease access between residents and visitors, that it will just increase the safety elements and that, um, that it should go pretty smoothly, hopefully. The state order applies to general acute care hospitals, skilled nursing facilities, and intermediate care facilities. State health officials say those visiting indoors will have to show proof of vaccination. Unvaccinated visitors will have to show a negative COVID test within 72 hours. Visitors who are visiting a patient in critical condition are exempt, but will have to follow health guidelines like wearing a mask, PPE, and maintaining distance. Health experts say COVID vaccines are effective in reducing infection and serious disease. Chikato says he's heard from nursing home staff who were hesitant about getting the vaccine, but he agrees with the state order. Now that we know that we're not past the pandemic and that the residents are still increasingly vulnerable, um, it's, it's time. I think it's time that all the staff be vaccinated so that we have assurances that the residents are protected as much as possible. And facilities have until September 30th to be in full compliance with the state order. Live in Walnut Creek, Gail Ong, Cron 4 News. Gail.